So I'd like to start by saying something that's been a bit of a theme tonight with the group, and that is that studying the law is not about studying the laws. It's not about the rules. It's about learning to understand and apply the law to real life. It's about getting a toolkit to use as you move on. So this evening, I'm going to share with you tonight the four most valuable lessons that I learned from my experiences at Macquarie and how I've used these lessons in my life as a practicing lawyer. So just a little bit about me for context. You've heard that I graduated locally in 2002. And living in Sydney, I really had my pick of university to attend. So I could have gone anywhere. I decided to come to Macquarie for two reasons. Firstly, because they had the degree that I wanted, which incidentally is Andrew's degree, so environmental management and law, but also because they have a law school with a good reputation for solid, well-rounded learning and strong academic staff. And that was important to me. So it's here that I learnt lesson number one. Don't give up when you meet a hurdle. I missed out on entry into the combined degree by a few marks in my UAI, so that's what you guys call an ATAR. And so I started my study here at Macquarie Uni in, using, in the Bachelor of Environmental Management. Now, while the, pro, the transferring processes have changed a bit, when I was at uni, what happened was I was able to transfer in my second year. And in that transfer, I had the support of the academic staff and the administrative staff, and that was really a helpful thing for me. So learning this, this perseverance here at Macquarie Uni has really stood me in good stead. When I was working as a solicitor for legal aid, I had a lot of clients who were very, very disadvantaged and had a number of different legal problems. And learning perseverance helped me to help them finding solutions to their problems. So coming at the same problems from different angles and persevering to get a result for your client. Now, there will be plenty of challenges to overcome, so perseverance is a big one. The second lesson I learned about life in the law at Macquarie Uni is that things are not what they seem. So I was fortunate enough to participate in a practical-based subject where students went to the Macquarie Community Legal Centre, which was then based in Marylands. And what we would do is the students would go to the centre and they would meet with the clients, take initial instructions and assist the solicitors. Now, I'd been at the centre for oh, a couple of months or so and another Macquarie Law student joined us. Now, this guy, he was sort of a big, burly guy, had a fairly self, you know, healthy self-opinion. He was pleased with the way he turned out. And he, was, you know, he wanted everyone to know that he was ready to get his, get his hands dirty. He was going to roll his sleeves up and he was going to take on the big criminal cases. He was ready. So the principal solicitor of the community legal centre assigned him a whole heap of traffic matters. Now, technically, traffic is criminal, but I don't think that's what this guy was after. So the knowledge that things are not what they seem has helped me to think critically, which is a really, really important skill in legal practice, particularly about our own conclusions. So last year I was involved in quite a complex international child abduction matter in the Family Court of Australia. And in that matter, I had to keep reassessing the things I thought I knew about the case as the issues expanded to include human rights issues, people smuggling and child marriage issues. So my legal education at Macquarie Uni taught me to critically engage with what I thought I knew, and this has allowed me to deal with legal issues as they change in real life, which they inevitably will. So the third lesson I learned uh, from studying the law at Macquarie is that learning is continuous. So learning happens all along the way for us in our lives. We learn from our lecturers, from our tutors, from our peers, my experience of tutorials at Macquarie Uni was that they were quite small groups of dynamic learning. Um, I remember one occasion in my second year, uh, it was the first tutorial of the subject, and I walked in and you know, nodded to, to a lady sitting up the front of the room and sat down and got my things out and settled in. And every student who walked in did the same thing. They walked in, nod up the front of the room, and then they go and sit down and get settled in. And after a while, we just sort of sat there waiting for the tutor to start the tutorial. And then in walks the tutor. So we'd been staring at a mature age student just waiting to learn. Yep. <laughs> but in fairness to us, she did nod back when we nodded at her. So that is partly her fault. Um, so from my experience at Macquarie, in taking the understanding that learning is continuous, I've really run with that, both in a formal sense, in terms of structured learning, but also in learning on the job, which is such an important skill in any profession, but particularly in the law. 
So I've attained my postgraduate master's um, majoring in legal practice from ANU in 2012 and I've gone on to be admitted to, as a barrister in the New at the New South Wales Bar. So that's a new part of my legal career which is just beginning. The fourth and final lesson that I learnt um, about, from Macquarie Uni about life in the law is that you really need balance. And again, this has been touched on tonight. When you're studying and working in the law, you really need things outside of the law to give you perspective. They need to give us balance. So they need to provide us with a different way of thinking and a different way of understanding things. And Macquarie Uni has a number of sporting and other societies which provide us with just such an opportunity for balance in life. I mean, I am a member of their gym when I'm not on crutches, but I don't need to flog that. Um, Macquarie Uni is also a real community of students, which helps a lot when it comes to obtaining that balance and perspective. So when I started working um, with the Civil Litigation Division of Legal Aid back in 2010, I felt this lack of balance in my life really keenly. And I decided to start up a lunchtime netball team. Now, getting it off the ground was a real challenge, but after finding enough closet netball fans, we fielded seven, a team, and we did actually take home our trophy in our first year. We defeated the Commonwealth Bank in the grand final, so long live Legal Aid Netball. <laughs> but this balance, in whatever form that this takes for you, will be the most important key to enjoying your life in the law and not feeling burdened or overcome by it. Now, finally, when you're all budding young solicitors, brief me as your barrister, I'll buy you lunch, OK? I would love to work with a Macquarie Uni Law graduate any day. In fact, I'm looking forward to seeing some of you there. Thank you.